What's going on, my people? We sit up here in the box gym, Mr. Cho. What's up, Mr. Cho? Say hi to the What's camera. Up? What's up? I do. Yeah. Hey, I'm about to get my hands wrapped. I want y'all to join in on this exercise for the day. All right? Hope you have fun. Music licensing reimagined. What he's doing is he's making a pad. He's wrapping it around his hand seven times in order to make a pad that goes across your knuckles. But because I hit, I hit really hard and my knuckles haven't gotten strong yet, I have to wear an extra pad on my hand to protect it. All right, I like it. Here we go. Thank you, Mr. Choke. Looking good. Yeah, look at that. Y'all might be wondering, who's this Mr. Cho guy? Well, let's look around. So this is a little tour of the gym. This is Daniel Cho's boxing gym. I've been coming here about five months off and on, not consistent injuries and stuff, but you know, I'm old, I'm 41. That's Mr. Cho. How old are you, Mr. Cho, 60 what? 67? You don't know? He's 40, he's 16, huh? <laughs> Let me walk you around, check out his place. I'm about to get it in though, so I gotta hurry up. Check out it, looking all clean and stuff. That's my man, Joe. Mr. Cho, back in the day. Yeah. See this? With the belt, son. Like, yeah. If your gym, if your coach ain't never really did this, don't be going there. Find you a place where somebody been knuckled up. You feel? It's Mr. Cho. Affiliated. USA Boxing. Certified, you know what I'm saying? Some of these great speeches you look up here when you about to quit. Ain't nobody got time for all that. This is our workouts for the day. No sweat, no champion. This is our workout for the day. That's his belt over here at Pride, baby. Champion. Anyway, guys, I'm about to get it in. Y'all gonna watch me join in on the fun, all right? I'm gonna get it in. Cool. Check it out, guys. So right now, I'm gonna let y'all in on some of the workout I do. It ain't gonna be that good, but at my age and my injuries from the Army, I found that boxing is the best because it's really low impact, minus your hand in the punching bag. But at the same time, you're burning cardio. And at my age, heart disease, heart attack, all that stuff is like something I need to take care of or pay attention to. So 30 minutes of cardio at least three times a week is better than nothing. I try to do four times because I like to eat a lot. And I eat good stuff. You feel me? All right. So enjoy this workout. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're doing, we're supposed to do, because we're beginners, four rounds of jump ropes, three minutes a piece with 30 seconds rest in between. But because I'm old, I actually need to do about eight. It takes me two to three just to warm up, and then I actually can try to do something for the last four. You feel me? All right. All I'm waiting on now is for the green light go. Time to get it in, y'all heard that? There it is. And let's go. 
I owe y'all a couple more seconds. Got my booze out. All right, my people, that was three min uh, three rounds of jump rope. No, I didn't go the whole time. That was a warm-up. Like I said, at my age, I realized those days of just running, I didn't jump right in formation and running. Dude, sir, I got to warm up some. So I did three rounds of warm-up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do my rotational and stretching exercise. I found that I need a warm-up and then do this, then jump into my exercise, all right? So, what am I doing? Prior to the Army changing over to PRT, we should do a different kind of warm up in the mornings and stuff and stretching. And that's what I found to work best. So, follow along, simple, but it needs to be done, all right? Artlist IO. All right, guys. So, what am I doing now? I'm just going to show you around the gym. Uh, one of the things that we do here that's not common in a lot of the other gyms is we actually get a lot of focus mitt training. That's not extra. Doesn't cost no more. But our coach does it with us. Every one of us. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool because you get a burn that you've never experienced before. All right. He's tired. Ha, 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 ha. That young guy, that guy is uh, 16, I think he said. I'm 41. But he's 16, and he actually wants to be a professional. So he started, he's only been here like eight months. You know, some of y'all looking at this might be way better have all the ideas of what we should and should be doing. Anybody got time for all that? All right, so let's get it in. We're about to get this exercise going on, all right? I owe y'all some seconds, so I'm gonna start half ass on this one. But uh, I'm gonna still knock out my three like I supposed to. I ain't been here in a while, I've been chilling, getting ready for fishing and everything. So because of that, I can't just jump out here and jump right on this bull right off the bat. I'll be hurt. All right. Artlist IO. All right, guys. So we did the warm up. I did the rotations and stuff. Then I did some more to warm back up. I did a couple more rounds. Next thing we're gonna do is called shadow boxing. All right. So according to this chart here. This is just a warm up because I'm still a beginner, I'm old. I did four rounds of jump rope. So now we're gonna do four rounds of shadow boxing. Each round is three minutes. Now, when I first started shadow boxing, I was like, what am I doing? Just swinging my arms around? I felt like Cuba Gooding Jr. and Boys in the Hood. <laughs> but as time went on, I realized what I'm doing. So a lot of times I close my eyes when I'm shadow boxing and imagine him. I'm fighting someone. But for the first couple weeks or months, I actually fought myself in the mirror. That's why mirrors are important. I fought myself, looking for openings, blocking and everything. Then I imagined in my mind how to fight. You know what I'm saying? Trying different techniques, trying different combos and stuff. And that's what you do for four rounds. You shadow box, all right? This is when you work on your jab, you're constantly jabbing, you're building up your shoulder strength and everything like that. So shadow boxing is really important, all right guys? So check me out. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's 
holds everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity It's mind over everything I did a couple rounds of jump rope um, I was supposed to do four rounds of jump rope after I did my rotation and stretching and everything But Mr. Cho, the coach, told me go ahead and just do three and then we're going to go to the ring I haven't been here in a couple weeks So, you know, I'm not, don't want to push myself too hard And by the way, the reason I'm sweating as much as I am I have two shirts on, one shirt, which is a Wiccan shirt, I have a bag, if y'all want to know how to make it, it's pretty easy, and I have a regular army shirt on, you know what I'm saying, so now what we're going to do is we're going to record me doing some focus mitt, don't judge, you know what I'm saying, well you can judge if you want to, but let's get it, if you want to, let's get it, <laughs> alright guys, let's hopefully we get this thing popping good, Mr. Joe, what are we waiting on, Christmas? You ain't on me, huh? I know. Let's get it. I'm ready. Well, I'm not really ready, but I have no choice. up a hill. Don't lie. You don't believe it? Try it. was terrible performance but you got to start somewhere right anyway next thing we're gonna do is uh working on the punching bag working on my combos and stuff that uh when we do the focus mitts in the middle of the ring we work on those combos um right now because i don't have my gas and stuff about me i use the um the ring to work on my cardio a lot because it's a burn once I'm able to make it, like the whole three rounds or four rounds without stopping, then I will focus more so on footwork and proper technique, if that makes sense. Some people will argue, well, you don't work on that first. I don't care what you say. I'm doing what I want to do. So what I'm going to do, get my cardio up, and then work on my um, footwork and stuff in the ring once that's good. But while I'm on the bag, I actually work on performing the combos properly proper hand technique, make sure I turn my hands over, make sure I'm hit with the right, the front knuckles or whatnot. And that's what I work on when I'm hitting the bag, all right? Sweat burning my eyes, because I don't drink enough water. Ah! All right, now we're gonna do some combos on the bag. You're supposed to do this for four rounds. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do it, see what I can do, all right? One thing about hitting punching bags, every hit don't have to be like hard as hell, alright? You will see a lot of times when you see people, professionals, like doing a little bag training, they hit slide, boom, 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 and they go, bah, bah, right? It's because you don't need to hit everything hard, you know what I'm saying? Everything else is just setting you up for the combo, right? I show you. Jab, cross, jab, fight. Jab, cross, jab, So. You don't have to hit every hit hard, right?
Alright guys, I'm about to try my luck on this little Canelo bag. So, I ain't record everything, but y'all just got a little glimpse into like what I do. So now what I usually do is at the end, I do some push-ups, I do some sit-ups, might do some pull-ups if I can. And uh, call it a day, you feel me? 